Hi, this is Access Chapter 9 help video for the training assignment. We're going to start on step 25. Uh, last we created um, buttons on our forms. So we're going to move on and try and finish up some of the um, elements to our form. So in the property sheet pane, okay, so we need to go back to design and open our property sheet. Click the selection type arrow and select form. Okay, so you can do that. Or here's another trick. See this little box that's left and above the rulers? If you click on that, that's selecting the form. See how it has like a little box in it now? That selects the form. Or you can just use this drop down and pick form. Because basically what we're what properties we're changing now have to do with the overall form. Okay. Um, all right. <clears throat> so we're going to get rid of that. Okay, maybe. On the Format tab, change the Navigation button property to No and change the Record Selection property to No. So remember in the last movie I was showing you the form and how it didn't have those navigation buttons at the bottom? That's what we're doing now. We're taking those away. Um, because right now, look, if I see it, we still have all this here, right? We're going to take that away. Here we go. Back to design. All right, so I'm in form and I'm going to find the first control, which is navigation buttons. Double click on the yes to make it a no. And then record selector. <laughs> right above it, select it to no. Just going to close that out. In the detail section of the form, so I'm going to click on detail, detail, right, or you could use this arrow down, or I just clicked on the line that said detail. Click the form selector on the subform. So that's this little box that I was just telling you about. See, there's one for this subform. So we're going to click on that and get a little box inside there. And so now I'm in a form again, but I'm in the subform form control, right? See, look, there's no little box there. It's on this subform. So let me do that again. So I clicked to select it and then clicked in that little box left and above the record navigator. I mean the ruler line. Um, okay. In the property sheet pane, set navigation button property to no. So, no. In the detail, click this level in the property sheet pane and on the format. Okay. Close the property sheet form and close. So we did all that. So we're going to close this and save and close the form. Okay. So now it says copy the form add lessons a student form and paste it as form member portal a student. Okay. So let's make sure we got the right form. Form Add Lessons A Student, right click, copy. We're going to come down to this white area here, right click, paste. In the Paste As, we're going to get rid of the copy of. And on the end, no, what are we doing? We're changing the whole name. So let's get rid of all this. It's just going to be for FRM Member Portal underscore a student. So now we have 
uh, member portal a student we want to open that in design view okay so we're going to right click design close that up cut the subform and add a tab control at the one inch vertical line in the detail area before the lesson count text box control okay so that's a lot of words so let me show you what um, what it's supposed to look like let me get this up here so this is what we're going to do we're going to take that form that we have and we're going to make this member portal where we have our buttons here but we're going to use these tabs to be able to navigate to any information about a member right so that's going to be kind of cool so we're starting off by making starting off by we're making this main form right and we're, we're not starting from scratch we're starting from uh, what we already had built so the first thing is cut the subform and add a tab control and so here's the thing I don't want to do this until we read the next sentence so you're going to cut this out you're going to add a tab control and then here's the thing immediately you need to paste the subform into the first tab right so like don't go away don't get just finish this process finish this 26 without a break so I'm going to click on the form, the subform, and I am going to right, right click, and I'm going to cut it. It's gone. Okay, but it's in the it's in the um, clipboard, right? That's how this works because it's staying there in the clipboard. Um, add a tab control at the one inch vertical so we got to come up to our controls and find the tab control well look around look around hey that looks like tabs there it is so we've done text label button now we're going to do tab so we're going to come over here and we're going to build a little box that's going to have our tabs in it Okay, so it's going to immediately put two tabs in there. And now what I want to do in this tab is I want to right click. Notice when I right click, the little orange goes down to just this one. And we're going to paste. All right, so that subform that we cut out that was standalone on this is now in a tab, right, that we're building. All right, so let's do this. And now if you look at it, this big word lessons is not good. So it says delete the lessons label. So we're going to click on that and just hit the delete key. Click the first name label. Click, click the selection box to select all of the stack controls. Right click the first controller name and cut the control. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to do this. I want to move this. I want to move this. All right. So we we did that. We deleted that. Okay. Click the first name label. Click the selection box to select all of the stacked We're going to do this. I'm going to make it hard. Click the first name label. Click the selection box to select all of the stacked controls. Oh, what the heck. I clicked the first name label. I think I just want to do all those. So bottom line, guys, we just want to select all these controls. So... 
Okay, so there it did it. And you have to be very specific. So, okay, look, see the down arrow? I did a shoot, so here. See the black down arrow? Click, and it does the stack. Now I'm gonna hold my shift, come over to this other stack, wait till, there you go, move it up until you get the black down arrow, click. You could have just click, 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 holding the shift key, it's whatever. So, um, right click the first name label and cut the controls. So right here, right click, cut, it's gone, okay? Paste the controls on the second tab. So we're gonna come over here to the second tab, right click, paste. So now we've taken all of this and put it in here. Delete the rectangle control. So this control, we're going to hit delete, and it's going to be gone. All right, I'm at 11 minutes. I'm going to stop this and pick up um, 27 in our next movie. Thank you.